Video of a local doctor suffering from COVID-19 and then claiming mistreatment from her hospital bed has gone viral. Tonight, Indiana's largest health network is promising an external review to determine if there was any racial bias. Dr. Susan Moore died just weeks after her Facebook post. 13 Investigates reporter Sandra Chapman tonight learns more about the search for national experts to review her case. White coats for black lives descended on downtown Indianapolis months ago, calling for equity in medical treatment. Until there is real change. It was part of a national movement drawing attention to the disproportionate and dismal outcomes of black and brown patients suffering from COVID. The CEO of Indiana University Health also pledged to promote racial justice. Now that promise is taking center stage after this viral Facebook post. This is the second worst day here at IU North. Just two weeks prior to her death, Dr. Susan Moore described how she was denied treatments of remdesivir, a popular drug now used for COVID patients. According to Moore, she was denied pain medication too and proper medical scans until she cited supporting stats from her own charts. You have to show proof that you have something wrong with you in order for you to get the medicine. I put forward and I maintain if I was white, I wouldn't have to go through that. Moore also noted she was prematurely discharged and had to be re-hospitalized 12 hours after being sent home. She sought care at a different hospital, but died December 20th. IU Health President and CEO Dennis Murphy said a quality review suggested Dr. Moore's care did not fail the technical aspects, but lacked compassion and respect due to a burden system. Still, there is an ongoing internal investigation, but it's the promise of an independent external review drawing interest nationwide. According to Murphy, IU will have a diverse panel of healthcare and diversity experts conduct a thorough medical review of Dr. Moore's concerns to address any potential treatment bias. Now 13 Investigates has learned more about that process. According to an IU spokesman, the organization is now vetting participants from around the country to participate in that review. The vetting is to ensure confidence. The panel will look at medical records, interview health care providers, and examine Dr. Moore's own words. Once the review is complete, IU Health will take appropriate actions based on the panel's findings and recommendations.